most of these lemons aren't just ripe yet. But if I pick them now, will they ripen inside? What about these oranges? They're not quite there yet. But if they were a little bit closer and I pick them, would they ripen inside? G'day everybody and welcome back to my Aussie gardening kitchen, garden edition. And in this video, I'm going to talk about which fruits will ripen and won't ripen once picked. So when it comes to fruit and berries, you can look at them in two categories. You've got climacteric and non-climacteric. Now, all that basically means is one group will ripen after they're picked and the other group won't ripen once they're picked. So I've got a few varieties on each side here to give you some examples of what's going on. Now, the reason these ones here in this category ripen after they're picked is they release a hormone and that hormone is called ethylene. And what the ethylene does is it's going to help with the color, it's going to help the sugars build up a bit better, it's going to help with softening. Whereas these ones here, once they're picked, none of that happens because they don't release that hormone. So with these guys here, if you actually get them from the store or they fall off the tree a little bit early, you can bring them inside and you've probably heard about people that put fruit in paper bags to help them ripen or put them with bananas and things like that to help them ripen. Well, that's actually true if you stick to this category. So for instance, the apple, these apples weren't completely ripe. A couple of them fell off the tree when I bumped the tree. So I bought them in and I put them in a bowl and covered the bowl and I had some bananas and some avocado and stuff like that, uh, tomatoes. And it's actually helped ripen those apples. It's really cool. Now with these guys here, such as citrus and berries, such as strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, grapes, you can't put them with any of these and ripen them. It may slightly help with the color a little bit, but it's not actually going to ripen this category. So the, the ripening trick with the gas, or the hormone I should say, that's released is using them all from this one category, not this category here. And yes, I have included tomatoes because tomatoes are a fruit and they do ripen after being picked. Again, all because of that hormone. So I like to have these in a bowl with my apples and fruit if need be. Now today I was actually picking berries in the backyard and as you can see here, this beautiful raspberry and these beautiful strawberries, they were picked fresh at their peak ripeness because they're not going to ripen after being picked. So I've got to be really careful about that. I should point out that the hormone produced by these, the ethylene hormone, is really productive around the time of ripening. So if you grab your fruit way too early, it's not gonna happen, you're not gonna get ripening. You need to wait till the fruit actually starts to ripen itself to take advantage of that hormone that comes out of the fruit. So yeah, grab them when they're similar to this, when they're getting close, or when they're fully ripe and you can take advantage of that hormone that's coming out of the fruit to help ripen some of the other fruits or the actual fruit itself. Mmm, beautiful. Now that I've brought this up, I'm sure you're wondering what other fruits go into either category. So I'll pop those onto the screen right now. And here you should be able to see which ones are in either category. And that's going to surely help you later on when you're looking at what can ripen and what can't ripen after being picked. I've got to say the smell is pretty good right now leaning over this fruit. And I'm definitely making a fruit salad after this video. So when it comes to storage with the two categories here, you can do two things with the climacteric ones that do ripen after being picked. If you notice that you've brought some home from the store or maybe you've picked some or neighbors have given you some and they're not quite there yet, you can leave them out at room temperature, let them ripen and then pop them in the fridge. With these ones here, these ones had to be picked at the optimum time they have to be ripe, so you need to take these and put them into the fridge because popping them into the fridge once picked is gonna slow the decay process. You can leave them out once ripe on the bench in a bowl if you like, but by popping them in the fridge, that's just gonna slow down the decay process a little bit and you'll get a bit more life out of your fruit that way. Hopefully this little video is going to help you decide what to do with your fruits or berries 
when you either pick them or bring them home from the store. And hopefully you'll be able to enjoy them just that little bit more with this little bit of knowledge that's been in this video today. If you wouldn't mind checking out one of my other videos, that'd be fantastic. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next cooking or gardening video. Bye for now.